our Windows 10 has been installed <clears throat> and after restarts this is where it, it is. So here don't go ahead and before proceeding to create the <clears throat> VMware image what we need to do is we need to go to audit mode. So what is audit mode where we need to generalize and all those things. Uh, Sysprep has to run for those purpose we need to have um, if uh, <clears throat> Windows which need to be logged without login we should be able to um, just go ahead <clears throat> and install the software needed so without um, any particular uh, user so for that we need to go and put um, control shift and f3 so so i'll just put control alt and f3 just control alt control shift and f3 this will <clears throat> go to the audit mode so here i did that <clears throat> and it will restart the vm and it will take you to audit mode you see here we are it is logging in just a moment with administrator privilege <clears throat> it will log in and give us the windows 10 desktop so we'll wait a little bit here this is important for creating the vmware image master image we need to go and <clears throat> install the vmware optimization tool on audit mode so here we are you see here I don't run the sys prep at this point i'll just cancel it here so uh, <clears throat> you see our windows 10 vm has been installed and now we have um, logged in into audit mode um, so let's go ahead and install all those required uh, agents for vmware horizon so we need to have a vmware horizon agent installed um, <clears throat> uh, well i we can follow this document here again uh, or manually creating the optimized one so if you see here um, everything is clearly um, mentioned here so before going ahead what we need to do is just uh, install actual the vmware tools so first thing first uh, you see here uh, with already it is already mounted i believe the vmware tools right you see here uh, no it is not so what we need to do is we we'll go back to vSphere, uh, vCenter server, guest OS and install VMA tools and mount it. Once it is mounted, <clears throat> you, you can see here in the E drive VMA tools mounted. Just double click and it will start with the installation of VMA tools. Okay, next and we will go to custom and here you can follow this document again to see what are the components we need to install based on your different requirements you can change it so here we deselect vmware carbon black helper so go to next and i'll just deselect this one and our feature will be enabled right and <clears throat> The service discovery also i'll go back uh, go down and okay it is up service discovery here so i'll just deselect this and we'll see here what else 
service discovery and VMware shadow copy services also I need to deselect so go down all the way and here entire feature deselect right <clears throat> and go to next and install so that's it go to next and install well after that what do we need to do so this is this will be will be uh, and here we need to install dotnet framework 3.5 so that's what is the next one and you see here now the driver got installed so it recognize the network <clears throat> and do you want to allow this pc to be discoverable i'll say yes uh, so that i can transfer some of the uh, executables to here and finish so here i'll restart i'll say no because i need to run a command and that's for installing dot net framework okay so what i need to do is cmd command line and run as administrator and you just follow this dsm online enable feature in and this is <clears throat> well okay so let me put take the remote console of this mission it will be easier just to see and type so i'll what i do is i'll take it so that i can see and type right so this is online enable feature net fx3 all limit access the next line is the source <coughs> so source is here d column backslash sources xx sx s 